Happy Tuesday. I'm so excited to read our story today. Um, I found it in my parents' basement last night and I don't think I've read it to any of my friends who are watching. So before I tell you what it's about, I want you to look at the cover and tell me, what do you think this book will be about? Ooh, some of you said that it might be about animals. You're right, there's some animals there. There might be, it might be about kids. I'm wondering if any of you said it might be about the z z z zoo. I bet some of you saw that Z and you read that word zoo. If you guessed that, then you're right. This is a book about a zoo, but it's not about going to the zoo. Look at the gates, they're closed. This book is about a zoo being closed. It's called, The Zoo is Closed Today Until Further Notice. Hmm, I wonder what all those animals are doing in there. The author is Evelyn Bielinson and the illustrator is Anne Kennedy. So Evelyn Bielinson, the author, she wrote the words. And Anne Kennedy, she drew the Pictures, oh, my friends, you know so much about books. So let's find out what happens in this book. The zoo is closed today. <clears throat> oh, there's the inside cover page. Those animals that have papers in their hands. And this one, his mouth is open. He's like this. I wonder why. The zoo is closed today until further notice. It was a warm and sunny day with not much to do. So Sue and John walked to the Kalama Zoo. The gate was shut tight. All was quiet and still. Since inside the zoo, the animals were ill. Ill is another word for sick. Oh no, I hope they're feeling okay. A sign on the gate told the kids what to do. Be patient and wait till all's well at the zoo. And that's what the sign says. Be patient and wait till all's well at the zoo. And this sign says k -k -k closed. And there's a padlock, which is a word for a big lock. Oh no, this little girl's feeling so sad. Then, all of a sudden, from just down the street, their old friend appeared, zookeeper Pete. They eagerly asked him if he could please say just what was ailing the animals that day. Ailing means what's wrong with them. He looked worried and wearied as he shook his gray head with a heave and a sigh. This is what he said. He has a little label under his shirt that says zoo and this sign is the same one and it says closed you're right you were really listening edward the elephant has a cold in his nose he gets drops up his trunk through a garden hose here is a bag of peanuts and he has a handkerchief, which is like a reusable tissue. It's something that you blow your nose in and then you throw it in the wash and you can use it again and again. And what letter do you see on his hanky, his handkerchief? It's the letter E, E for e -E elephant. That's a tricky one. <gasps> Get well, mom. The poor bunny ear bunny's ears flop to the ground. Her earaches, no joke. Beth can't hear a sound. Oh, look, they're having a party, but she can't hear anything. Oh, and her kids are bringing her some food to make her feel better. I see carrots and cabbage. Oh man, poor bunny. And Freddy the fox was having such fun. He forgot his lotion and got burnt in the sun. Oh no, look, he's playing with his ball. Oh, he's read or laying out, drinking a nice cold drink, playing with his friend, the skunk. Do you see that skunk tail there? Climbing up the rocks, playing with his friend. I think that's a wolf all day long from sun up until sundown. And now look at him. He's so red. Oh, 
ouch, I bet that really hurts. Marcel the monkey cannot even swing. His poor tail is broken and tied up in a sling. A sling is something that you usually put on your arm as a person to keep your arm from moving, keep it immobile. So it looks like this monkey has a sling on his tail and you, if you look carefully, he has a bandage there. Oh, poor guy. All of his friends are up here trying to play with him. And they're even reading a story in the tree. It says, Fun Monkey Tales. Oh my goodness. And Helen the hippo has cramps in her tummy. She ate a bad apple that she thought would be yummy. Oh, poor Helen. She's pointing down to this apple and it has a worm sticking out of it. Poor girl. Our black and white zebra came down with the flu. Zeke lies in the shade feeling black, white, and blue. When I say I'm feeling blue, that means I'm not feeling really great. I'm feeling kind of sick or down. And so he's telling us that he's not blue the color, but he's feeling blue. It's kind of like feeling sad. Carlos the camel has red itchy humps. To the doctor's surprise, he has hives on his humps. Hives are itchy, scratchy bumps that don't feel good at all. Oh, poor Carlos. And Larry the lion, he refuses to roar. A tooth has been pulled and his mouth is still sore. Oh, look at his kids, they're trying to help him by roaring. And here's his missing tooth. Ouch, that hurts. Poor Fran the flamingo cannot sing a note. She gargles and gurgles to soothe her sore throat. When he's bringing her, Pete the zoo mate keeper is bringing her a bunch of lemons and she has pure honey and salt. Sometimes when you're not feeling well, your doctor will tell you to gargle with salt water or drink lemon and honey, hot, like hot tea with just lemon and honey in it. Have any of you ever had that happen to you? Oh, very interesting. So now you know just why they are sick, but with lots of rest, they'll get better quick. Then Pete and the kids said their goodbyes they sadly trudged home with tears in their eyes. To trudge is to walk heavily and slowly. They're very sad. But the very next day, Sue and John got a letter. The zookeeper said the animals felt better. They shouted with glee. The kids were so pleased, but First Sue, then John began to sniffle and achoo, sneeze. Now they were homesick with nothing to do. So all of the animals came to see John and Sue. Oh my goodness, what a silly story. So I'm wondering, since all of the zoos and aquariums and places are closed today, what do you think the animals are up to? Oh, well, I'm going to add a link in this email to Shed Aquarium in Chicago because that is, uh, an aquarium is like a zoo for water animals. And that aquarium is taking their penguins and some of their other animals out on adventures in the aquarium. There are some really fun videos and some fun ideas just to look and see what the other animals are doing since the people can't go and see them right now. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this book. This is one of my favorites and we haven't read it in a long time. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous Tuesday. I'm sorry, a terrific Tuesday. Get that sound in there. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another story. Bye!